While Messenger ads are considered a lead magnet inside Mobile Monkey, it's a really big topic. There are a lot of things to discuss and there are a lot of best practices and techniques and I wanna show you a bunch of different specific things with creating Messenger ads. Many of you are running Facebook campaigns and Facebook ads and Google ads and you have a marketing budget, um, you're running ads, you're generating leads and sales. Messenger ads and Facebook are the most profitable and cheapest way of getting leads right now on the internet. I've mentioned that before. So let's just discuss a little bit about Messenger ads, what they are, how they work. This is an image on the right hand side of the screen here is an example of a Messenger ad. So to Facebook, Messenger ads are a type of Facebook ad. It's a format of Facebook ad. When you, when you create a new campaign on Facebook, you have an option to select a bunch of different types of campaigns. This is one of those types of campaigns where Facebook keeps the user after the click within the Facebook ecosystem. Instead of sending the click to a landing page, you're sending the click to Facebook Messenger and that allows Facebook to lower the auction threshold by a significant margin, which is why impressions are cheaper, clicks are cheaper, uh, click-through rate is typically higher because it's just more engaging and conversions and leads are being added into your pipeline for cheaper as well. There are two different types of Facebook Messenger ads that you could run. The first one is click-to-messenger ads. That's the most popular format and 90% of you are going to be using click-to-messenger ads. There's also sponsored messaging which pushes ads into people's inboxes, into their messenger inboxes as opposed to opening up and, just, and, and and starting a conversation through a sponsored post. There are two different types of ads. We're gonna talk about getting approved for subscription messaging, so there shouldn't be any reason that you need to use sponsored messaging, um, the sponsored messaging ad format. There might be a couple different use cases for some of you, and we'll talk about that um, shortly. So the typical ad format, and the one that we're gonna be dealing with uh, primarily is that click to messenger ad format. Uh, it opens up a messenger chat after you click the ad. If you see, you click that little button, send message, that's what it opens up. And you must get, and here's, and this is something which is very important with regards to this type of ad format, you must get the user to engage with the bot if you wanna get their information. You don't automatically have their information. If you remember, we spoke about that landing page button. When you create a landing page in MobileMonkey and somebody chooses to interact, you get their basic information, their basic profile information from Facebook. That's not the case with Messenger ads. You must get them to at least interact once. Unless, of course, it's somebody who, who has already interacted with your Facebook bot or has messaged your, your account, then you have their information already also. Um, but after that one engagement, the user is on your list. Like I said, click to messenger ads are the cheapest way to get quality leads into your pipeline. Um, it's what you do with the leads from there that really decide whether or not your marketing dollars are being, are being spent profitably and being spent well. So we're gonna follow up with drip campaigns, right? You're gonna get these leads and you're gonna follow up with chat blasts. You're gonna follow up with them by email by exporting that list and putting it into your email CRM system. You're gonna potentially have a sales team call these leads back if you get a phone number from them. There's a lot of different ways you could continue to engage with these people to squeeze as much value out of them as possible, but getting this database built through Messenger ads and even sending people eventually to your website. Like we've run Messenger ad campaigns that the goal was not just collecting leads, but actually driving sales and eventually through a conversation, offering a coupon code, sending them to the website, like we're getting sales. Like it's really, it's a really, really engaged audience as long as your website is really super mobile optimized. I wanna go through a couple quick statistics why you should not ignore Facebook advertising. First of all, 93% of marketers using, are using Facebook ads regularly, okay? Facebook advertising is a, it's, it's huge. Google and Facebook have a virtual monopoly on digital advertising dollars now and it's a big mistake to not be advertising on Facebook, and it's even it's an even bigger mistake now that you have the skills to use Mobile Monkey to build really sophisticated chatbots. It's a big mistake to not use click to messenger ads in Facebook. It's the, the engagement rates are through the roof, and it's really really cheap leads. Um, images are important. I'm going to walk you through designing an ad quickly for the for the um, chatbot funnel we're going to build for messenger ads. They account for 75 to 90% of the effectiveness of a Facebook ad. So images are really important. Getting those images right are really important. 20% of, Facebook, of Facebook's mobile ad revenue comes from Instagram. And it's the same ad network. So when you run these click to messenger ads, these ads could show up in Instagram as well and you could choose a separate image for Instagram also. Average CPC for Facebook ads is $1.80. Average CTR is under 1% for Facebook ads. We're seeing a 50 to 100% increase in CTR and a similar decrease in CPC in click to messenger ads. And oftentimes in certain cases, far greater results. Um, so it's very, very exciting. It's a very exciting time to be involved with Facebook advertising. It's a very exciting time to be working with Facebook bots.